Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new piercing reaction video. Hello everyone. What is the tea? What is the scalding hot Darjeeling? The Earl Grey? The Lapthang Sushan? The Assam? Hello everyone and I cannot believe we have made it through another year of incredibly horrific piercing fails. Oh my gosh. I love doing these yearly roundup videos so I hope you're ready to be shook to the core. Today, we are going to be rounding up the 30, the 30, we're doing 30 of the worst piercing fails that we have witnessed in 2022. Thank you so much for all the love and support you have given me this year. I can't believe after all these years, we're still doing these videos and you still love them. You're still enjoying them. I absolutely love making these videos. And thank you so much to everyone who does send me everything over on Instagram. TikTok, all these places, sending me things to react to, tagging me in things. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It means the world to me. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you miss any videos that are coming up in 2023 because we're going to be carrying these on, girl. But anyway, <laughs> let's not beat around the bush, eh? And get on with this top 30. Uh, sorry, I'm really enjoying having a fan again. The top 30 piercing fails of 2022. So at number 30, we have this awful foot piercing. Why have you pierced it? I'm glad the person took it out, but look at that. Look at the foot. Why on earth, why on earth would anyone want to pierce their foot like that? Like, look at this. Like, look at this, this image you're seeing now. Look at it, look at it. Why would you want that on your foot? It's just so bizarre. To me personally, it's just so bizarre that you would ever pierce that part of your foot. Like. Why? Why? Can you imagine like wearing some like socks or like shoes or something that would just completely rub against it? Or imagine if you were wearing Crocs with no socks and one of the holes in the Crocs got caught under that. Absolutely not. Absolutely disgusting. At 29, we have straight men being straight and they're shoving a catch-all tag through his ear. Why would you do that? There's music in this, but I can't play the music, but it's just like a catch-all tag. A catch-all tag. They're like really thick. I find it so strange the things that men will do to like impress other men. I'm going to take this cattle pr ca cattle tag that's not going to be very clean. That's actually really thick and I'm going to puncture my ear. I always knew I deserved to be dead. For what reason? Because you want your lads to like you more. Like I don't understand. The lad culture of wanting to impress your friends like that, I will just never understand. Obviously, I am a raging mo. I'm still a guy and I just still don't understand this kind of like, <laughs> and also look, 69, disgusting. At 28, it brings a whole new meaning to the word birthday party. So she shows her arms like that, cut to the next scene. She is the cake. She's the cake. She's a cake. And she's blowing out candles that have been pushed. I mean, I've heard of piercing play, but this takes it too far. She is a birthday cake, a birthday cake, a birthday cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I mean, if that's what you want to do, fine. It just seems like an odd. Can you imagine if you fell over? Annoyingly, it's right at the bottom of the shot. It's kind of hard to see. But like, if you've got all these candles in your arm look like this, and you're like, oh, birthday, happy birthday, and you tripped or something, and you fell down, and all that fire and things like pushed into you, and you caught on fire, and you died. Well, I hope that piercing play project was worth it, because now you're dead. At number 27, we have this deep chest piercing. Now I cannot even start to understand. First of all, like how did you how did you manage to do this? Like, what was the process of getting this inside your chest? Like, how did you get it in to begin with? Now, obviously, I'm sure this is done for like a photo. Like, you could uh, uh, could you could they keep this in? I don't know. Because like just moving like this, like you would it would feel quite painful if or, like you'd be able to feel it too much, like in your chesticles. Ooh. Mummy's got breasts. But I just want, I would love to know the process of actually like getting this into your body because I can imagine it was a bitch. Something that unnatural and being so deep in the chest, it really just makes me go like. <laughs> so at number 26, we have probably one of the stupidest piercings I think I've ever seen. So this girl is getting a second lip surface piercing on the inside of her lip here. She's already got one. You can just kind of see the first one here. Like the quality is not amazing, unfortunately. You can just kind of see one here, but she's getting a second surface piercing on the inside of her lip. No, there we go. We can see it a lot better now. Like, the, I just don't, 
Oh, and then, oh, I forgot about that. Look. Yeah, look, look, look back here. As she goes in with the needle, she, like, stabs the other side of the lip as well. Look, look here. Stab. She, like, stabs that part of the lip as well. Two in one go. A free piercing. Buy one, get one, gout. Me, 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 me. I want it, I want it, I want it. I am not saying that you should get piercings for people to see. I've had piercings where you couldn't necessarily see, like, my belly button piercing, my nipple piercings. Like, I've had piercings where you couldn't see unless I showed you. I also got tattoos. Unless I show you my leg, you wouldn't know they got my leg tattooed. With that being said, I feel like there's doing those kind of piercings and then just getting things for the sake of it. Piercing this part of your lip is just stupid. Not only is it going to bash and rub against your gums and your teeth and cause you many problems down the line with your teeth. It also just can't be comfortable to live with and you'll feel it all the time. It would just be like, even if it didn't damage your teeth, it still wouldn't be very comfortable. I'll just never understand. At number 25, we definitely have the most intensely pierced nipple I have ever seen in my life. I cannot even begin to explain what we're looking at. So this person, I'm, I have to block out the main nipple because it's just really bloody and disgusting. It just looks really gross. There is all these like piercings all the way around the nipple like surface piercings going in and out and i just don't understand how this has been done i can't pinch enough skin to like get this many piercings like around my nipple i just don't understand how this was done and i feel like this is not going to last in your body very long at all i had my both of my nipples pierced they were just annoying they never really healed very well i would always catch them on things and like they were just always uncomfortable so the idea of having this many around and on the nipple like i wish you could actually see the nipple multiple piercings through the nipple thick ones like pushing and pulling it it just looks actually a bit revolting i'm just perplexed so perplexed as to what we're looking at and what this like how has this been done a wizard did it actually all right so at number 24 we have probably one of the more puzzling entries in today's list i do not understand what this is how did you like so they've got an industrial bar the only thing i can possibly think of is like maybe the bar was pushing onto the flat of the ear really intensely and that it kind of made it grow over because mine was kind of similar to this when i had my industrial done my ear was not right this is back in like 2009 my ear was not right and this kind of happened but to this extent like i just don't get how this was able to happen and how it was left so long that this was like this part was able to grow over the ear so much so that it's like solid it's not like a slightly dug in slit like it's an actual solid piece of cartilage and ear like it's insane how did this happen at number 23 we have blow out heaven look at this like isn't that absolutely repugnant i oh my god Repugiwaga. This is one of the reasons why you do, 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 do not. Never, girls. You never stretch your ear fast. You take it slow. You do one stretch at a time. You don't jump, jump suddenly. You don't try to force bigger ones in your ear just because you think it's okay. Like, you have to take your time. Even with surgery, this is never going to look like a normal earlobe again. You're always going to have, like, an odd looking earlobe. At number 22, we have this. Oh, could you hear it pop? You can hear it, you can hear it pop, you can hear it pop. It's absolutely vile. Listen, listen, listen. Right, we're gonna just listen to that one more time. Listen, listen, you can hear it like pop through the ear. Just, we're gonna be, I'll be quiet. We just gotta listen really carefully. Could you hear that noise? Ugh. At 21, we have this really dry, surface piercing on the uh, oh i hate it why didn't they like really soak it and soften it up first i don't understand why they didn't soak like soak it like soften the skin in the area up so like it doesn't you can like feel the dryness as they're pulling this out oh it's disgusting oh you can just see the dryness of this and i just don't understand why they didn't like at least soak it first properly so the area is really soft and like look at the jagged edge here as well like what did you do i've already said to you that i'm not a massive fan of bioflex bars i never have been like look at the jagged hard edge and they pulled that through their arm i wish we could hear the audio because there was no audio like I, I could just imagine it sounds like so now we're on to number 20 and this was for sure a, look look oh look how deep Look how deep that went into her mouth. First of all, I am dead. Me too, sis. Says here, I'm definitely dead. But I want you to look very carefully at here on their lip. So as they go down, look at this lip because you can see the needle going into here underneath the skin. 
Can you see it going right underneath the skin here? And she like stabbed her right in the nose. And then they start bleeding literally from this section. Because it went right in here into oh, what a lovely pose. Right in here and stabbed. Oh, wow. So now to number 19, where we have probably the most overreaction of an earlobe piercing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Beat, 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 beat. <laughs> I just don't understand that. I just don't understand that reaction. Like the screech. Like I just don't. It's so confusing to me. I just don't understand that reaction. Good guy, get a grip, girl. <laughs> so at number 18, we have our favorite people at five minute crafts. And this one isn't necessarily about the piercing itself. It's what the hell they're doing to the piercing. Oh, look. Oh, this is like using dental floss for a day. Th oh, disgusting. Oh, that gives... Ah! There's just, like, the, 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 the angry pulling of it. Like, the, the, the such aggressive, like, flossing of the ear. Don't use dental floss on your piercings. My date piercing was an absolute bish. If you, like, watched me this year, you'll know that I recently took it out and retired the piercing because it was just so annoying and it just never really healed properly and it was just, like, painful and things. So the idea of doing something that aggressive to it would make me die. I guess you just have to be prepared to die. So at number 17, we have this. I swear to God, this better not be real. The idea of like piercing any animal whatsoever like this is just unacceptable. Uh. Disgusting. And you should go straight to hell. At 16, we have probably one of the most intense ear stretches I think I've seen because of the way this person stretched their ear. So 28 stretching my ears from 28 millimeters to 30. So this person just like shoved this tunnel in that's too big puts it in and goes, oh, well, it doesn't fit properly. So they just stop pulling their ear apart. Oh, it's disgusting. Could you imagine ever stretching your ear like that? Oh, well, I'm going to do my my left ear now, girl. So, they, so again, this, this plug is two sides, like two millimeters larger. And then they just pull it apart. To, oh, oh, oh. Got it's your, no, it's your neck. It got does. Fucking no. Oh my god. The idea of ever going, I, you know, this doesn't really fit my ear very well, so I'm going to put the plug in, put my fingers in it, and just like pull apart like that. What are you doing? Vile. Do we saw that big blowout earlier on? This is one way to get blow out heaven. Wow. At number 15, we have the reason why you don't leave your eyebrow piercings in to the very last minute. Look at the scarring that this person has on their eyebrow. Look. And this is about to come out too. Look at the deep scar that they've got. I get people are stubborn. People love their piercings. But to leave it to the very last minute like this, where it's basically like you now have a huge chunk taken out of your eyebrow. It's not worth it, sis. Take it out way before that time. So at number 14, we have this woman who decided to pierce her eyebrow for some reason with a brooch. With a brooch. A brooch. What I find more puzzling about this video is that I don't know how old this person is. Maybe like late 50s coming up to their 60s. Why are you doing this? Like, you know, you should know better. It's kind of not even like on the eyebrow as well. It's like, it's almost like above the eyebrow. So at number 13, we have some of the most awful surface piercings I have ever seen. Look at them on, oh, and on the fingers. Look at the finger, look at the finger. Oh, burping. It, isn't this just absolutely vile? We've seen this person a few times on my channel giving themselves bizarre surface piercings. I will never understand it. When you're literally like, getting needles and shoving them through your body and like putting bars in your body, get, the potential giving yourself like real, real infections, like possibly like death to it. Like this could lead to death. Death to all of them. Oh. I don't understand why it's worth doing that for clout. The finger, like look at the finger. It's just not worth it. It is just not worth it. This, why does this have 28,000 likes? Like, absolutely not. At number 12, we have this. And I am still to this day puzzled as to what on earth we are looking at. I don't understand what this is. Is this a surface piercing like underneath the lip here and it's kind of, these are the balls? Or like, is this a gum piercing and it goes on the inside? I don't understand because look, they've got two here as well. And I'm like, are these gum piercings? Like, I... Don't understand this at all. I'm so puzzled. And when we first saw this at the, at the start of the year, I don't, like, I just, I don't understand it. It's so confusing. I just don't get what this is. 
What's happening? What's happening in this photo? Death. So just missing out on the top 10 spot, we have this. So this woman has got a piercing gun and she's like, oh, I'm gonna go pierce your ear. Like literally, and then she like grabs hold of the piercing. I don't understand why this is being used as like an advertisement for this studio or whatever, because it makes it feel like she, this woman is like dying. She, with the reaction of her getting her ear done is like, ah, like look how painful she looks. Look, ooh. You, why would you do this to me like, come to my shop, get pierced by me, you will die. <laughs> Before we get onto the top 10, I have two honorable mentions. First of all, we have the demonic reaction. <laughs> That was a reaction, wasn't it? And the, look, look at the beginning. The begin. Listen, listen to the scary laugh at the beginning. <laughs> Haunting. And we also have this awful eyelid piercing. Oh, I'm so sick of seeing eyelid piercings. Why has this become a thing? We saw quite a few this year, and awful. Oh, I hate it. 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 Don't pierce your eyelids. So coming in at number ten, we have. Wolverine piercings. And this person has pierced their hand multiple times with all of these bars, like. This is just asking for incredibly scarred hands. I better use my strong hand. Isn't this just apps harrowing? Like, look at this. I could not imagine having all that metal like in my hands like that, inside underneath the skin. Underneath my skin is a load of bars. You couldn't like, I, this again, this has to have been just for a photo and they took it out. I don't even want to imagine for a second that this person was like, I'm going to live like this, I'm Wolverine. And then they just bleed to death. Number nine is probably one of the most annoying piercing clients I have ever seen in my entire life. Literally, before they've even done anything, this is just them looking at the clamp and looking where they're gonna go. She already pushes the person away. And then, okay, so eventually they find him. I'm sort of skipping this a little bit just was not like the entire video. So you can go watch the first one like, so, oh, look, 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 pushing it away. No, don't touch me, no, go. Already, like if you'd done that twice to me already, you'd be out of the studio already. Out the door, out the door. Could you imagine if they got a tiny bit further, just a tiny bit further in this process and the needle was kind of just about to touch the skin or in just inside the first bit of the skin and then she pushed him away. The damage that you could do by this is stupid. Now, if you look, the mother is behind the daughter, like holding her still, like holding her down, like trying to hold her still. Look, like, push. Like, I just don't, I, I'm surprised the piercer even stayed doing this even after that amount of time that it happened. Cause you would have been out the doll. I was waiting on you at the doll. I was waiting on you at the doll. Yeah. This video that I actually originally reacted to was like 10 minutes long. Like this took such a long time for the piercing to actually do. Um, obviously I'm not gonna put the whole thing in this video, but so again, ju jumping back, juddering, no, don't touch. And look, look, what are you doing? The mum, stop, I'm gonna hold you. Where's the straight jacket? This is like, th the fact that this is happening is unreal, like unreal. So we're carrying on. Oh, and pushing it back again. Like you clearly don't want this piercing. Like you clearly do not want this piercing. Like, you don't want this piercing, clearly. And still going, like, you just don't want it. You just don't want this piercing. The fact that the mum's behind her holding her down, you just don't want it. You don't want it. Like, there is being scared or being a bit nervous or whatever, and then there's jolting. And also, because, like, this person's probably got other people to serve as well. Like, other people to do. And, like, you're holding him up from doing the next person, the next person as well. See, like, you don't, leave, leave. <laughs> I'm getting rolled up and I've already seen Just leave. Like, just leave. It's just unacceptable. Like, it's just unacceptable behavior. I feel like I've said everything I need to say already. I get being scared of needles. I get being nervous, get being anxious. But jolting back and pushing this piece away and grabbing hold of them and going, no, and taking such a long time. Again, I sped this up. This is like a 10 minute video. Or like, if you're having your mum behind you, having to hold you down so you don't do this, you d should not be getting piercings. So at number eight, we have a girl. I don't know how old she is. She looks quite young. About to get her septum pierced with a piercing gun. Is I, I cannot, like the angle, the angle that that's being done at, the angle. Look at the angle, look at the angle. It's not like, oh, it's awful. It's awful. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, oh, what bang. I will never ever stop being shocked. At th like, and then of course the gun gets stuck. 
I will never stop being shocked by this. I will never stop being shocked by this because it's just, it's just the septum piercing with a gun. Like, I, d and they're just touching it straight away. Like, oh, no infections for me because I'm apparently clean. Totally inexcusable. Totally deranged. And totally, totally incorrect. At number seven, we have probably the most bizarre stretching tool I've ever seen. This person is stretching their earlobe with a pencil. A pencil. A pencil. A pencil. I look at that. I don't. I the the the, the shredding. The shredding that that would be doing in your ear. The shredding. The jagged edges of that wood. Give, imagine giving your like earlobe a splinter. Imagine having splinters on the inside of your earlobe. No. Thank you. No, thank you. So at number six, we have probably the probably one of the most bizarre piercing videos I think I've ever seen. So this girl is cleaning her Medusa section to get pierced with her tongue, just like with her, some rag. And she's like, I'm gonna clean my like absolutely vile, like some cat, like a cat. Meow, girls. Good pussy cat. So they've got a piercing gun to their, their Medusa section and it's gonna pierce their... And they didn't like, they, no, they chickened out first. They chickened out to begin with. No, come on, we're gonna do it, go. Come on, we're gonna, gonna do it. And then she picks up this. A demonic baby. Satan, Satan, it's Satan, Satan, Satan. Sa ungodly being. I remember when I first saw this and I was just so perplexed as to what the hell was going on. And then she tries to like pierce her. So she's trying to pierce her Medusa with the gun. Well, the cartridge, I should say. Apparently she's done it. I'm just gonna leave, just leaves it. And then the video just ends. So much of that video is so confusing. I just don't, un so she's on some live show, a, a live stream. I don't know what platform it's on that's being the live show. I think, my, my, I'm guessing it's TikTok. So I was tagged on TikTok for this. Cleans her area that she's gonna pierce herself with, with her own spit. And then picks up a demonic baby. And then forces the bar through. It's just, I just. It's totally confusing. At number five, I have just been bamboom completely b b bewildered. Why would you see a dead animal and rip off his quill and pierce himself with it? This kid pierced his septum with a porcupine needle that he found on the road. A dead animal he found on the road. A dead animal. He picked off one of the quills from the porcupine and for some weird reason he goes, I'm going to pierce my septum. Deborah Meaden is not amused. So number four, I have a video that I just don't understand whatsoever. So she, she said, don't get sm your smiley pierced. But then ha look, look at the bar. It's like through the gum or like through the lip. I don't understand like what is happening or how this, like what is happening? Oh, like how did that happen? What, what I don't, I don't understand. I'm so confused how a smiley piercing has ended up through her gums. I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't understand. I don't understand what's happening. I, d I don't get it. If you didn't know by now, I don't understand. So coming in at number three is probably one of the more recent ones we saw. And I'm just gonna not say anything and just let's just watch it again together. So this woman is piercing her bridge for the second time at home. Um, and so she gets a pen and just sort of marks it up on her nose. But here is the piece de resistance. <laughs> this was not open, I opened it. She gets a needle. She gets a needle in her hand and then like coughs into her hand <laughs> while open, holding a needle. It. Why would you do that? I'm still, I, I can't. Why would you get a needle and then cough into your hand? It's just team too effing much. I will never get over that. I will never get over that. Now, I'm not gonna show the rest of the video. She just pierced her bridge and it looks really terrible. Like it's just a badly pierced bridge. After making a point in the video that the needle was clean, like I just, the moment that had me gagging, got me gagging, gagging. So just missing out on the number one spot is this piercing where someone gets their tongue piercing, but uses an unconventional clamp. So this person is having their tongue pierced 
and they're using a hair clip as a clamp. Like, first of all, there's like zero checking here. Like the way that they're doing this, like kind of going above the head and around like terrible piercing method. But it's the fact that they're using a hair clip as a clamp for the tongue. A hair clip. A hair clip. A hair clip. I just don't get it. I don't get it. They wanted you dead. I just don't get it. This person has had the piercing done, but for some weird reason, they're now using a clamp, like some pliers and these disgusting gloves. Like, I don't know what happened in between those two videos, but why are they now with the same person using pliers to try to get this bar in with these like broken gloves? and Like, I don't understand how a simple tongue piercing that should have been done at a professional place, but a tongue piercing has turned into this whole crystal maze puzzle using clamps and uh, using pliers, sorry, full of dirt, filth, and just confusion. It's just confusion, just confusing. Like what, what is happening? Oh, and then you're like, I'm gonna use gloves, but actually when I put the stuff on, I'm not gonna use gloves at all and have random people touching my tongue. It's just vile. And we have come to the number one spot. Set. Can we have a drum roll, please? I don't know why I decided to do the drum roll myself. It is probably one of the worst ear stretching videos I have ever seen in my life. So this person starts off with a normal, I don't, like a relatively like smaller size piercing. We should have just stopped there because it was already bigger than a 1.6. It looked a bit like a two millimeter. And already they've already gone one size up and it looks so vicious. Like, and then they're already putting another size up. I can't tell the size of these obviously just by looking at this. Force, like look at the force of that stretch. Look at the force of that stretch. Look at the force, look at the force. May the force be with you. Look at the force, but you can already see that the ear has already torn already. Now they're going up another size. It looks maybe about maybe eight millimeters. It's kind of hard to tell, but look at the ear here. Look at, look, look at the ear. It's already torn and frayed. Like the skin is already torn and frayed. There's, they've already jumped up like four or five sizes. The ear is already torn and frayed already. And you think this is the end? Oh no. When I first watched that, I thought that was the end. So they really pulled it out. And then they're like, no, we're not done yet. We're going to go even bigger. Look at the size of that. Look at the force that this person is using to push it through. Look at the force. You're, like the idea of using this much force to pierce your, like to stretch your ear is unhinged. Look how ripped, look how ripped the ear is. Look how ripped it, oh, it's disgust. Look at the skin, look at the skin. Oh, it's absolutely vile. It's vile, look at the skin. Look at this, it's vile, vile. That ear is fucked. That ear is fully, fully fucked. I could not imagine stretching your ear that quickly. Like it's just vile, like it's terrible. Not only is it like bad for you, it's also incredibly bad practice. Like as a professional piercer, which this person is not, it's just awful. Like they're filming this and putting on the like Insta. What I find actually really shocking about this is 910,000 likes, which implies that you are showing this many people that this is fine. The fact that no, like the fact that people are liking this video like that. Yeah, there might be a few who might like it for later and just using it for like saving it to re react to or whatever. The fact that you would do that just says to me that you agree with what she's doing. And also that you think it's okay and this is a good way to stretch your ear and you possibly could have done that yourself. Terrible influence, terrible video, terrible stretching. Everything in that video was terrible, 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 terrible. You earn your spot as the worst piercing video I have seen this year. And the thing is as well, this person actually has a couple more videos of her doing this to other people. It's just unacceptable. Well guys, I'm well and truly triggered aboard that trigger train to Chew. We are speeding down the railway. We are crashing off the cliff and we are plunging to our deaths. And we just about made it. We just about made it back this time because this one was a lot. Well, guys, we have reached the end of this video. Thank you so much. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit longer than my normal videos, but thank you so much for sticking with me this year. You guys have been wonderful. I hope you've enjoyed this yearly roundup of the worst piercing fails of 2022. 
I really enjoy doing these ones. I hope you have enjoyed it too. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up in 2023. This isn't my last video of the year, but it will be my last piercing one. But thank you, thank you for all the love and support you guys have given me this year. It's been a wonderful year. Come and follow me on all my social medias, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff is linked down below. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Gothmam Cookie. Thank you for following me over on Twitch. If you would like to be in with a chance of being in the next Twitch shout out, come follow me over on Twitch. It's Roly West over there. We stream multiple nights a week and have a lot of fun. So come follow me on Twitch. A massive shout out to my lovely Patreons whose names you can see on the side of the screen here. Thank you for being a Patreon. You guys are delicious. And an extra special shout out to my top tier Patreons. Benjamin Baker, Bethard, Kaz.Thom, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, Con Pemberton, Erin Grace, Helen McFarland, Hunter Portswood, Aya, Jenna Beth Herman, Caitlin Wright, Ke Catherine Ritter, Kelly Bowser, Chloe Louise, Lisa Pennington, Robin Scott Palmer, Steffi Tech, and Zoe Severe. Thank you so much for being a top tier Patreon. There is a link down below as well if you would like to go on Patreon. But anyway, I'll see you soon for another fabulous video. Be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be, and don't let any bitch out there tell you that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are flawless.